The first stage of project planning with Microsoft for a software development project is not actually to start with Microsoft Project. Here you'll see I'm actually in a Word document. The Word document is software development plan and exists in your working files. And this is effectively the start point. Now it doesn't need to be a Word document. You may feel like you want to start with a Visio diagram or you may want to start with a piece of paper. But we start outside of Microsoft Project. That's the point we're trying to make. And you get your ideas down. So those ideas need to start to evolve into some kind of shape where you can see the project. So we've got here a phase, a section, and then each section we've broken down into tasks. So at this point in my development, I've decided on phases, and we have an initiation phase, planning phase, an execution phase, and then a closing phase. So that's effectively the end of the project. Each of those phases I have then broken down into sections. So the initiation would involve meeting with the clients and discussing needs. Planning would look at scoping, requirements gathering, development plan, testing plan, etc. Execution would look at actually building the design, designing the tests, development of the actual piece of software, tests of the software, deployment of the software, quality assurance, building the requirements for the technical infrastructure, any documentation, training, and then we hit closing phase, which looks at maintenance contracts that may need drawing up, and then acceptance by the end user. Now each of those sections would then need breaking down into tasks. So we could do that here and decide, okay, let's look at the scope. What tasks would we need? Well, the first task would be potentially to book a meeting with a client. And then I want another task. So the good thing here about doing it in Word is I can insert another row below and add in another task. Agree scope of the project so that we know at the earliest stage possible what this project is going to have to do and have to provide and have to build rather than keep changing as we go through. And potentially at this early stage of scoping, we might, if I insert below, also draw up a specifications outline. So we're starting to build up some documentation. So I would personally tend to do that here in a Word document where I can insert more rows as required for adding more tasks to each of the sections. Alternatively, once you've actually decided your phases in your section, you may wish to move at that point to Microsoft Project and then use Microsoft Project to add in each of the individual tasks. Either way, really these two first sections need to be decided any of the phases for your project and any of the then sections. Now these phases and sections will pretty much be the same, you may have one or two more or less when building a software plan. So we're looking at building a piece of software that will then need to be tested and rolled out to a set of users. If that's the case, then this pretty much covers the requirements for such a project. There will be differences, obviously, when it comes to breaking down the tasks dependent on what this particular project is for. So this is the start point, the sort of storyboard, the starting bit where you get your initial ideas down about how this plan will unfold. At this stage, we're looking at certainly phases and certainly sections. We don't need to break that down into individual tasks as yet or individual resources, but if you can or are able to, then that would be ideal to then build up this document before we then move to Microsoft Project. Obviously, once you're ready, and you certainly have the phases and the sections decided, and potentially some of the tasks, we can then move to creating a Microsoft Project file.